all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Kwakutash. It's the Pelia Hebrew name. We call God of Christ in the English tongue. Today, we're going to go over Shalaki Shalaki. So that's the, uh, the Pelia Hebrew name of our Lord and Savior. So today, we're going to go with Psalms 10, because Psalms 10 is speaking about, uh, you know, uh, the Most High. Uh, uh, the wicked, you know, so Psalms 10 speaking about how uh, he said in the scripture that you know he's mad at the wicked every day, okay? So, uh, you know, I've seen some videos where you know, brother was putting up, uh. People were saying that they don't that they don't need to save that they're saved already. So what are we saved from? We're not saved yet. We're not in the kingdom. We're not free. We're not living in peace. We're not uh we're we're not drinking clean water, eating good food. So we do need to be saved in these last days. We need a savior. And this is why Yahweh Shem Yahweh is coming back to deliver his people and all those who believe in him uh, out of this, this this hell on earth. Okay? And hey, remember, hell is only a condition. Okay? Nobody burned forever. That's, that's, that's through religion that teaches that, us that uh, uh, if you do something or sin against the Lord, that you're going to burn or your soul is going to burn forever. And that's just not true. So let's go over. Um, we'll start at uh, Psalms 10 and uh, Psalms 10 and 2. It says, The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. Let them be taken into the devices that they have imagined. Who imagined these things? The wicked. Okay. And who is the wicked? The wicked is running the earth. As Job 9 and 24 says, he says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Okay. So the just true judges of the, of the, of the earth. Is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and the angels? Okay, those are the true judges of the earth. But who, what wicked man covered the, those those faces into and, and his own likeness? And that was the so-called uh, Esau. Okay, so he imagined. Uh, these things. It says, For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, which is the mind. So whatever the, the mind desires, that's what the wicked boasts itself in. And bless the cov the covetousness whom the Lord abhorred. The wicked through pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not at all in his thoughts. You see that? I'm going to read verse 4 again. It says, The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God power. Yahweh is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are are far above out of his sight as for one all his enemies he puffed at them so this is the pride of the so called white man Esau okay he puffed at the poor okay he prayed on the poor okay <clears throat> he said in his heart which is the mind I should not be moved I should never be in adversity. 
His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. So the so-called white man never speak the truth. You know? There's always lies and vanity. Mischief. He seated in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret secret places do it he murder the innocent. His eyes are privately set against the poor. You see that? So this is why so-called Jake, the Native American Indians, Latinos, Blacks, you know, this is why uh, uh, this is why we're always uh, under under him. He's always uh, oppressing oppressing us. Okay, because we're the poor. Okay. And he set his eyes properly against the poor. Okay, this is how they 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 uh, live so lavishly. You know, they live good off the poor. You see? It said he lie in wait secretly as a lion in a den. I'm sorry, it's like he, he lied in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lied in wait to catch the poor. He do catch the poor when he drawed him into his net. You see, in that net is this whole system. This whole system that's been set up. That's the net. And that net catches the poor because majority of the poor people is out here uh, getting in trouble, being put on probation can put on uh get thrown in jail. See that's that whole net. Being in the court system, you know. That's 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 the part of that that that, that net. You know, and the poor people get caught caught up in that. So 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 this is how he keep yourself up high and, and, and keep us down low. It says uh he crouched and humble himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. You see? He said in his heart, which is the mind, God power had forgotten. He hid it his face. He will never see it. You see that? So they doing all this secret counseling. All these secret things against the poor people as if nobody's watching them. You see? And the Lord see everything. You know, he's watching. You know? And this is how... Uh, <clears throat> this is how uh, uh, the man who's teaching this truth is able to bring this out. Okay? Because they're, they're watching. They're seeing and know the weakness of, the, uh, of Esau. Okay? In the scriptures... Plainly, uh, plainly states who uh, who he is and how he moved. See, so he 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 don't think that he's being watched, you know, in these last days, and think that all his secret counsel is just going to be forgotten about, forgotten about. But the Most High has an, a, a a plan. Uh. So, so that's what we waiting on, you know. We waiting on the Lord to come back to, to, to do what uh, he promised through these scriptures. Against those who pray on the poor, okay, the wicked. It says, he has said in his heart, God had forgotten. He had it his face. He would never see it. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. O oh God, lift up thy hand. Forget not the humble, wherefore do the wicked contend God power. He has said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite to requite it with the hand. The poor committed himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. 
Break thou the arm of the wicked, and the evil man seek it out his wickedness till thou find none. See that? The Lord, Yahweh, is king forever and ever. The heathen uh, perish out of his land. See that? So the Lord land is Jerusalem, okay? And in Jerusalem, this is where a lot of the so-called, uh, this is where a lot of uh, so-called Jewish people live, right? In the Most High Land, okay? You have Arabs there, you have Jewish, the Jewish people there, okay? But according to the scripture, that land belongs to the so-called children of Israel. Okay, and, and uh, that land is, the Most High is going to bring his, his people back to that land. Okay? So, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is king in that land forever. Because he's coming to take that land back. And bring his people back into that land. Wherever they've been scattered, he's going to gather them. And, 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 and his people is going back to that place. It says, Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou will prepare their heart, just the mind. Thou will cause thy ear to hear, to judge the fatherless and the oppressed, that the man on, of the earth may no more oppress. See? So, excuse me. So there's a man on this earth who's oppressing people. Okay? And that's so, and, that, and that man is Esau. Esau's the one who's, who, who's oppressing uh, everyone on the earth according to the scriptures. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and, and according to the scripture, you know, he's, he, he has the power over the earth. This is how um, he's able to put sanctions and other things on, on different countries. Okay. Because Esau has the power in the earth until the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh shall get back and take that power from him. Okay. That's why it says the scriptures say the first shall be last and the uh, last shall be first. Okay. So the Most High is going to try. Uh, he's going to try the children of men in the last days. Wicked men on the earth is going to be, he's going to, the most high is going to, he's going to take them off the earth because of all the wickeds that they're creating in the earth to, 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 to harm his people. So I want to share that with you guys today. Okay. So, uh, I want to share that with you guys. You know, the Most High is definitely coming back to, 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 to for the wicked. So, let's go to Isaiah chapter uh, 59. We're going to go, go to Isaiah chapter 59. And we'll start at 59 and uh, 12. It says, For our transgressions are multiplied before thee, and our sins testify against us, for our transgressions are with us. And as for our iniquities, we know them. And transgression and lying against the Lord and departing away from our God, power, Yahweh, speaking oppression and revolt, conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood. You see that? So this is what a lot of our people speak, words of falsehood, things that they don't understand. 
you know. And uh, the religion, you know, it sounds foolish when you're speaking to somebody who's been who have the truth or been trained with the truth. You know that that it sounds foolish. You know when you're speaking falsely. It says, and judgment is turned away backward, and justice stand afar off. For truth is falling in the street, and in nick and equ equity cannot enter. Yeah, truth falleth, and he that depart departeth from evil. Make it himself a prey. See that? So because when you depart from evil and this evil world, people look at you like you're crazy. You know, people think you got to follow their nonsense and their they filthiness and, you know, whatever they do, you know, that you, you just. Okay, so they look at you kind of sideways and crazy. But the truth is, is in the earth now, you know. The truth of the Lord is being taught in the streets. It says, ye, I'm sorry, it's like, it says, and the Lord saw it, and it did please him that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness. Is to obtain him. For he, Yahweh Bashem, Yahusha, put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing, and was and was clad with zeal as a cloak. <clears throat> according to their deeds, accordingly. He will repay fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies, and I'm sorry, it's like to the islands, he will repay recompense. See that? So the Most High is coming back with harsh judgment in these last days. You see, the Most High ain't coming back to play. He got the burst plate of fury on, uh, of vengeance for clothing. You see? So the Most High is, 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 is pissed off at his people. He pissed off at the world. And he pissed off at, you know, uh, uh, all of the wicked, you know. So we do need a Savior in these last days. You know, we can't we can't get out of here by ourselves. We got to have the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, with us to get us through these, these times that we're coming in. So I want to share that with you guys today. Remember to like the video. I'll be back with the next one, Lord willing. Peace.